Besides SBM and Modec, there are almost 10 other FPSO leases out there. We think some of the more prominent examples include companies like BW Offshore, MIC, Insen. These companies have the capacity and capabilities to take on a mid-sized FPSO project. This is because their net debt to cash flow ratios are above industry averages. And in terms of their capabilities, uh, these companies have been involved in the FPSO market for at least 15 years and their scheduled performance has also been around the industry average and if not even better than the industry average for some of these companies. Let's start with Insen. Uh, Insen will be delivering two FPSOs by early 2020 that should free up capacity for them to take on more work. Uh, they've really been increasing their capabilities to take on more overseas projects. Back in 2015, they secured a big FPSO project from ENI. This was for a Ghana FPSO, 15,000 metric tons top sites. We got many questions on whether Insen would be able to deliver this FPSO on time and within budget. And Insen, well, we said that there will be some risk there because this will be their first FPSO in Ghana, their first FPSO for ENI and also their largest FPSO project ever. But Insen exceeded everyone's expectations to deliver the FPSO ahead of schedule. And this FPSO is operating very well at around 99% uptime. Uh, because of their increasing capabilities and capacity, we think Insen will be an interesting option for some of the oil companies out there. And as for BW Offshore, they have no FPSOs under construction right now. That's a bit surprising because they've been around in the FPSO market for around 20 to 30 years. BW Offshore is the world's second largest fleet of leased FPSOs. They have two idle FPSOs right now, which could be used for a relocation. And uh, interestingly, BW Offshore has started doing field development work. They're willing to invest in marginal field developments. They're doing an IPO of their EMP subsidiary, so that will give them more funds to invest in marginal field development projects. Given their combined FPSO and EMP capabilities, BW Offshore could be a partner for oil companies which are keen uh, to develop some of the smaller oil fields out there. And last but not least, MIC. MIC has no FPSOs under construction right now, uh, but MIC has been steadily increasing their capabilities to take on overseas projects. Historically, many of their FPSOs are in Malaysia, but they do have some overseas experience because they have FPSO joint ventures with SBM and PTSC in Brazil and Vietnam. MIC is also one of the only two FPSO leases out there which is partly owned by a big oil company. MIC is partly owned by Petronas, so this gives them the option for them to expand overseas together with Petronas. For example, Petronas is looking at a deep water Brunei gas project, so that could be one opportunity for MIC. In short, we think that Yinsen, BW Offshore and MIC could be a good candidate for some of the mid-sized FPSO projects out there.